Good morning, friends. My name is Aaron Jewell, and I'm going to talk this morning about generosity and gratitude. Uh, if you have teenagers and your family schedule is like ours, you're thankful for any time when the whole family happens to be at home at the same time. Uh, as you can see, it's not the case at the Jewell household tonight. But be that as it may, God has indeed been very generous to us. Um, first and foremost, he has been generous through the gift of his son and the forgiveness of our sins. But we're also fortunate to have received the gifts of a good education, good health, friends and family, comfortable home, also jobs that provide financial stability. But how should we put these resources and gifts that God has entrusted us with to good use? The world provides plenty of temptation to spend our surplus resources on ourselves, and I'm regularly guilty of this. But when I do that, I forget that I might be missing out on an opportunity. Um, there's a passage from 2 Corinthians that reads, The point is this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So I guess I should decide in my heart that I want to reinvest these gifts that I've received back into the work of God in hopes that we will indeed reap bountifully for him, as the scripture says. Some examples of ways that our family has chosen to reinvest in God's work during our times as members of Prince of Peace are providing music during church services, participating in Christmas and August activities, um, coordinating our congregation's participation in Crop Walk and the Habitat for Humanity Interfaith Build, and of course, through our monthly financial contributions to support the ministries of Prince of Peace. It's my hope that all of us will continue to regularly decide in our hearts to invest in God's work. Thank you.